best friend. You know, I don't mind. You know, if, if, if that's her decision, but I don't even know if it's true. I don't know what. I, I honestly don't know because uh, uh, Julie, it's about personal problems. Uh -huh. We don't really talk about love life or anything, uh, especially her. So. With that, I don't really know what to say because I don't have much info about it. Pero kasi may nakita na they were dating together and all those things. Kampre being close to her. Yeah. Iko ang unang dapat, di ba? Na pagsasabihan or na na pagtatanda. Well, I mean, being a love team, being a love team. Parang yung mga bagay na ganon. I think it's hard to talk to them kasi kahit hindi kayo, even if you're even if you're not in a relationship, kampre meron pa rin yung undum pa rin yung gusto niya you guys are the only ones for each other. Gusto mo yung kay magkasama kasi nasanay ka na magkasama kayong dalawa. So, nandoon pa rin yun. Hindi, hindi ka naaalala na, dun sa na, paglabas ng issue because baka maapektuhan yung love team niya. Nandoon pa rin yung takot kasi you don't never know it might ruin your love team, it might ruin especially JD kasi syempre magagalit yung mga fans or uh, they might say stuff about us or you know baka masira si Julie, baka masira si James, baka masira whoever kami ni Mina Nadine or yun um Sempre na dumpo yung takot, pero we just have to really trust the the management's decision, and also we have to make decisions that will make us better. I mean, we learn from our mistakes, naman, di ba? Pero pinag-usap pa yung dalawa yung kahit pataan. Of course, I asked her about it. Tinanong ko siya if it's true or if anything is going on. She just told me na she'll focus on on what she has on her career, kasi you know, yung napa yung you know problema namin yung mga problema ng teenagers ngayon. Kasi I mean, even for actors and stuff, we go through that stuff. Well, we're humans, and we have to go through that. We have crushes and all that stuff. So, yun. Yung ano sa TVB na, o, di ba? Sabi na eh. Ano, ano mo daw? Alin yan, King? Alin yan po? Yung nasa TVB na, Kenzo? Yeah, okay. I not even, ano, narinig ko lang yan from a friend. Someone asked me if it's true. Pero yun, hindi ko alam at all. I never asked Julia about it, because hindi importante. I mean, I don't need to ask her about her past. And besides sa isang interview, sinabi naman ni Julia na magkaibigan na sila. Hindi sila naging sila. Okay. So, for the future, nagagamit si Julia para lang, you know, maano, makilaan na sila or... You know, one thing that I really appreciate about Julia is she doesn't let it affect her. Siya yung tao na ang daming mambash sa kanya, wala siya pa kayo. She's just gonna do what she does and alam mo yung... She's such a positive person. Palagi ko siya tinatanong pag nasa taping kami, happy ka ba? Masaya ka ba? And she asked me the same thing. Kasi sabi sa akin, I'm at 60% today, I'm at 70% today. Kasi, important yun eh. Kasi, palagi ko siya nasabi, huwag ka masyadong happy. Kasi, pag na-reach mo na yung 100%, babalik na sa zero. So, kailangan may balance. It has to be at least above 60. So, ikaw talaga ang knight in the shining armor niya right now? I'd like to think that. So, ano yung responsibility? Gaano ka laki yung responsibilidad ng yun sa kanya? Siyempre, you have to be there. I mean, she's such a fragile person. Even if even if she's so strong and stuff. Siyempre, merong, as as humans, merong soft spot. Merong mga spots na masasabi mga tao na makakasakit sa amin. So, yun, as her best friend, as her, as someone who she can trust, trust I w I'd want to be there for her anytime I can and when she needs me. Yung Night in Shining Armor nakakagusto din sa prinsesa. Oh, Ikaw ba, nandun ka na, wala pa, <laughs> nandun ka na ba sa point ng ganon? Uh, I think the only thing I can say is that kanina yung sinabi ko na, pagkasama mo yung isang tao palagi, there's a possibility that you might just start to like them. Pero it doesn't mean that you have to focus on that now. So wala pa yung love? You know, Julia is an attractive person. I mean, everyone knows that. So, that's all I'm gonna say. Bakit sa kanya, dun sa ano, sa press ko nyo nyo na JD, talagang aligaga ka sa kanya. Parang napaka... Sobrang comfortable kami. I mean, talagang one time, she was wearing a dress na medyo sexy. Pinagsabihan ko talaga siya. Sabi ko, you know, I'm not your boyfriend or anything, pero I'd want people to look at you with respect. You know, and at your age, you shouldn't be like you shouldn't be wearing that stuff. So, I because nangyad yun nangyari yun. Someone was looking at her, and the guy was right in front of us. It's Julia, naman. She's very, you know, she's very carefree, and she just, you know, she does what she does. She's happy, and she doesn't think about those stuff. Walang malis yung inisip niya. So, ako yung tumiting at sa mga tao na parang stop looking at her like that. Parang that's rude. You know, you're looking at her with. Perverse eyes. Parang it's just not right. Ano reaction ni Julia nun? Nung sinabi mo siya. At first, I thought she was gonna get mad. Asin nagworry talaga ako. Alam ko maopen siya sa sinabi ko. Sabi niya nagdengi siya sa akin. And she told her mom. She said, you know, I I appreciate that. Kasi no one ever tells me. Ah, sure. Everyone needs someone who will tell them 
someone that ano nang totoo someone will tell them na mali yung ginagawa mo you shouldn't do that someone needs ano everyone needs na yung friend na sasabihin mali yung ginagawa mo someone that will help you realize hindi kaya yun parang to protect din ako to protect din ako sa yung sarili mo so hindi hindi mo kaya yun ang ginawa din also to protect your personal feelings mo sa kanya na na hurt ka na to serious ka I'm like that to every girl, naman. I mean, I I'd want everyone to be. Everyone to be treated with in a yeah. good way, in yeah. yeah. respect. Hindi ko ano lang. Ano yung pakiram dapat pag kaya marami nang sasabi mga lalo ng mga bagong artista na sinasay idol niya ang papa. Ako rin naman idol kasi papa. I mean, sinabi ko sa isang interview, yung na reach ni papa. Gusto ko yung ma reach ko rin. Alam mo, lahat kami namin, lahat na lahat kami ng baguhan. Pag sinabi ano ng dream mo, alam ng dream mo as an actor. I want to reach. Whatever Piola's reach, I mean, I might sound stuck up by saying this, but I see him as one of the one of the pillars, one of the columns of showbiz, Philippine cinema. Uh, even Tita Claw, when I saw when I saw Milan, talagang they're one of those people, and they're the people that I really look up to. And you know, I I you know I second the people who say that uh, si Papa yung idol nila. Most memorable bonding moment with your dad. You know, pag nasa bahay lang kami, pag ano, pag nag-uusap lang kami about life, yun yung mga moments na talagang I will remember for the rest of my life. Thank you.